So I am back today with a little makeover vid because I need to solve a problem. Okay, so my partner bought a Sage coffee machine and at the moment it's on the countertop and when you need to refill the water, you've got to pull the whole machine out to get to the back of it to put water in the jug. So I thought it'd be easier if he had a coffee station where he could access the back of the machine without having to pull it out constantly. So, if you watched my dining room makeover video, you would have seen that I used to have my dining room here, but then we brought the fridge in and then this piece of paint no longer made any sense really. What I plan on doing is upcycling some mound drawers that are seriously messed up, like they're so broken. Um, probably our fault for what we like, we've been keeping pots and pans in there. I'm gonna upcycle that in the same colour as the whole kitchen and then pop the coffee machine on there and I'm gonna get like maybe a little shelf to go on top, one like this. Um, so it could just be like a continuation of that one and you know get put little coffee bits and bobs on the top of it So I'm gonna do that today. I'm hoping it'll just be like a one day -er. So I'm gonna get cracking with that now and yeah, let's see how it works out So I'm gonna be upcycling Ikea Malm drawers. Okay, so these are the Malm drawers <laughs> I know what this looks like. I know this looks like we are raging alcoholics But if we were raging alcoholics They'd all be empty. Most of them are pretty full. We had just so, because it was my 30th, we had so many bottles given to us, or purchased, and then we had New Year's Eve party here as well. So, these are the Malm drawers. They are worse for wear. They're gonna need sanding down. I've already upcycled them once. So to upcycle IKEA furniture, you need to use a primer. So I use Zinsa Bin. And then I like to use a satin or eggshell based paint on top to make sure that it's wipeable. And um, maybe a varnish on top, it depends what paint you're using really. So this is cheap B&Q paint and you can see it's chipped. But I will be honest, these have moved around and they've had a bit of a hard life less than since we've moved here. So yeah, I'm gonna paint these in railings, which I've got here. It's a bit battered, um, but it's the same color as the kitchen. And then I've also got White toe, to, sorry, these have been in the shed. White toe two to get rid of that strip of brown. And then I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do. So once I've done the drawers, I'll have a little think. Let's get to it. Let's move this. Okay, so the hair is up. I've got a crappy hoodie on. I've got the white zero two, which is oh, gross. Um, give it a little. Oh, there we go. Uh, which is what's on the walls already. I am going to pour it into a bowl wall because I've got a big brush which won't fit in to the uh, lick pot. Ooh. Bye bye. Okay, so I've done the first coat. It's actually pretty good coverage down here. Maybe I should have gone a bit heavier up there, but um, yeah, it's not looking too bad, I think. I'll let it dry and see how how well the coverage is, because obviously it's still wet. Um, and then I'll probably just do a quick second layer. But first, it's time for tea. Okay, so I've just got back from my cup of tea and I can see like it's still a little bit wet. So I'll start on the drawers and come back to this afterwards. Need to move all this alcohol.
Okay, so I'm gonna give it a light sand. I've got a grit of 100 here, and I've got my roller. So when you're using, when you're painting furniture, you wanna get one of these rollers, because it just gives you a much smoother result. I can't find a paint tray, so I might just use a plate. <laughs> Okay, so I've got the heat gun, I'm going to plug it in and I'm just going to see what happens when I pop it on the vinyl drawers because obviously it's not wood so I don't know if this is going to make a total mess or if it's going to be alright. Oh look at the doggy! I tell you what a heat gun is good for is getting vinyl nice and straight so instead of completely ripping that piece of vinyl off I'm gonna use the heat gun to heat up the adhesive on the other side of the vinyl and try and get it all smooth and flat that way I won't have to waste vinyl and more time I don't know if you've ever used farrow and ball before but um, it's quite expensive paint but out of all the paints I've ever used, like the quality on it is just amazing. Okay, so I've had to do three coats on these. So I've just finished the third coat now, and yeah, it's looking good. Excuse the like messy painting. I'm gonna try and get it off the vinyl with the uh, heat gun afterwards. Uh, but yeah, it looks so much better than the pink. Like, I, I do love pink, but that type of pink, I prefer a bit paler. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed with how it's looking. It'll definitely blend into the kitchen more. So yeah, I'm gonna go back into the kitchen now. Oh God, I've been finger painting clearly. Back into the kitchen now and finish the second coat of the white paint on the piece of wall that was beige. Good morning. So today is day two and I'm just gonna try and heat gun the vinyl to try and get these like um, blobs out. I'm probably gonna be unsuccessful, but I'm just gonna give it a go anyway. There's the trick. There we go. Okay, so I definitely messed it up a little bit, but for the time being, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Now with the final piece, with this piece, the drawer's broken, so I need to try and fix that before I put it back in. <coughs> so there. Okay, so I've just found some small screws, which I'm gonna see if they go into the bottom of here, just to try and <coughs> stop it from caving in.
so I wanted to do a backsplash, so I bought these, ooh, you kind of see me there, I bought these stick-on mirrored things, so I'm thinking of sticking these all at the back here, sticking them all at the back here, um, as like a backsplash, and then I'm going to put a shelf up here, make sure there's enough room to access the back of the machine. So, I'm literally just going to get cracking with that now. Okay, so now that I've put the mirrored backsplash up, I'm going to start thinking about putting this there. So it's kind of like on the backsplash. Um, I've got a feeling I'm going to have to paint it black first for it to match the other one. I'm going to do that. just had an absolute mare trying to put that up so basically I couldn't find so this is a number eight drill bit and I only had number eight or number six but the plugs that I had didn't fit the six and they didn't fit the eight either so when I put the the mare it just wasn't <laughs> the shelf was like this but I remembered I bought some plugs and screws not long ago, which I totally forgot about until I went to go and buy some more. So, thumbs up. It's not quite level. <laughs> and I don't know why, because it was earlier. But if you can see, it's good enough for me. I will just put a plant on it and try and hide the fact that it's wonky. But, right, the shelf is up, so we're in the last stages of the coffee maker. Let's get fucking to it! I made a mess everywhere. Oh, I forgot, I've actually got these as well, which I'm going to put underneath the shelf, which you can't currently see. I'm going to put these underneath the shelf um, to hang some cups. Okay, turns out I didn't actually need a drill at all, guys. You literally just apply a bit of pressure to whatever you're screwing them into. And they literally just go up like that. There we are. Perfect. Finally, something that went semi right. Okay, so I've done a sample of trying to kind of like antique the mirror because at the moment it's so shiny. I'm just don't like it. But my original thought was to antique it, but I was like, I don't know how to do it. But that looks all right, I think, you know. So what I did was paint the black on and then I dabbed it with the uh, kitchen roll. So, do you know what? I'm gonna risk it. I think it would look better than it looks now. So let's just go for it. Basically, he said to put water on it and then it kind of like lifts where you sprayed and makes it a bit more antiqued. 